hello friends in this video now I will show you that how you can use uh, this tool rectangle tool and uh, see there are different tools in this option so how you can open this one just press and hold left click on this tool and you can see like sub tools will open and if you right click then it will see it's not opening so left click or simple like here you can see small here you can also you know press and hold left click so with the rectangle tool actually we can create shape and also we can create path path I will show you later like when we uh, when we will be doing like you know video editing then I will show you right now I will show you that how you can create or make a shape using this tool so rectangle tool like you can see here this so when you create a shape you can see a, a rectangle shape here if I use control Z that is for undo if you press and hold shift and then you create shape you can see it will create a square like proportionally from all sides and if you create a without press and hold shift then it will create a rectangle like this so once you have created now you can see the anchor point is uh, the mid anchor point is not in the center of this shape so you can use control alt home and it will be in the center control alt home you can use for this purpose or you can also right click and in transform you can see control alt home center anchor point in layer contents so that will be in the center so now what we can do with this shape like the fill color if we click on that color so we can change first of all uh, like the fill color then we can change stroke color like stroke color is right now you can see this is like very thin so from here you can increase the width of that stroke and then third like you can click on fill options like fill the text here not here from here you can change the color so if you click on this fill text fill option so you can see fill options like from here and um, we can change it to gradient see like this we can and if you want like no color you can apply no color same thing you can do with the stroke now here you can see in the timeline we have shape layer if you extend shape layer from here then you can see the contents of this rectangle so we have rectangle one and rectangle then inside that rectangle one we have rectangle path stroke and fill if you click here you can see the fill color will be hide so from this eye you can show or hide that particular option like stroke if you hide from here you can see that will hide so even if you don't want stroke so you can click here and you can click none so it will be a uh, delete but from here you can temporarily hide that particular option so if you click stroke now you can see here like we can control different options like color you can see that so if you click here and change the color from here you can see it will change you can see we have changed from here opacity like transparency or transparent of this transparency of this you know stroke so you can make it less you can see like this so things we can also control from here okay <coughs> you can change like different things and you can see like round join you can see it if uh, let me zoom from here and we'll show you how it has been changed see round join first it all was by it was this mitre join and then bevel join so this you know you can also control then we have fill options so in fill you can say like it's green see so if you want to change from here you can change from here so see the fill options has been changed opacity if you want to control you can also control from here so if you want to change the options of this rectangle you can change from here as well from here here you will find few options and here in the timeline you will also find lots of options so I hope you have learned how to use the rectangle tool how you can create rectangle and square shapes and how you can fill with color gradient how you can control the stroke outline options so if you have not 
subscribed my channel yet please subscribe my channel and also share the videos with your friends so they can also learn new things thank you very much once again